Good morning, mighty men. The Great Awakening of the 1730s and 1740s had a great impact on America. Churches were packed with truly converted, holy believers. Denominational barriers were broken down. Hundreds of new churches were formed to handle all the new converts. Missions increased, including evangelism among the native peoples. Uh, since many young men were preparing for the ministry and for Christian service, institutions of higher education were established, such as Princeton and Rutgers and Brown and Dartmouth universities. All this because of the Great Awakening. Some have even seen a connection between the Great Awakening and the American Revolution. Christians enjoying spiritual liberty in Christ would come to crave political liberty. So for the first time, the American colonies had a, a lot in common with each other. They were joined under the unity of the spirit, and that gave them strength to face the coming war for independence in the 1770s. The motto of the Revolutionary War was, no king, but King Jesus. That's what prayer and revival can do. Our reading today is in Numbers, the first nine chapters. I'm going to read from the 50th verse of chapter 1. But appoint Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony and over all its furnishings and over all that belongs to it. They are to carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings, and they shall take care of it and shall camp around the tabernacle. When the tabernacle is to set out, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is pitched, the Levites shall set it up. And if any outsider comes near, he shall be put to death. The people of Israel shall pitch their tents by their companies, each man in his own camp and each man by his own standard. But the Levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the testimony so that there may be no wrath in the congregation of the people of Israel. And the, and the Levites shall keep guard over the tabernacle of the testimony. Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, we who are your kingdom of priests, uh, so to speak, your modern day Levites, we set ourselves aside for your service. Our inheritance in the promised land is not real estate or material possessions. Our inheritance is you and your presence. You have entrusted us to carry your presence in the wilderness of our community, in the wilderness of this culture. And we pray, Lord, that you would restore the fear of God, the fear of the Lord in our midst, that we would once again tremble in your holy presence. Give us confidence to approach the throne of grace, but only by the blood of Christ and not out of impudence, making light of your amazing grace. Lord, we're praying that you would send a revival, that you would revive us by sending a spirit of repentance and renew us by the pouring out of your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow.